<laughs> All right, guys, so I am so excited to have with me Miss Takora Hill, and we are going to share some of our favorite tips and products with you about sort of our health and lifestyle journey. Your brand has value because of you, and your confidence to share that value comes from within. Congratulations for recognizing your need for change. Welcome to Be The Brand TV. Um, Takora is a lifestyle blogger here in Dallas, and she has a blog called Curls and Cocktails, where she focuses her attention on not only lifestyle here in Dallas, hair, beauty, entertainment, but she also um, sort of catalogs her life as someone who has lupus. And we are both on this gut health, health, trying to stay healthy uh, regime. And I thought it would be great for us to share with you some of our tips because as entrepreneurs, it's very important for us to stay healthy um, and to make sure that we're taking care of our bodies so that we can go out and do all the things we need to do to grow our business. And so welcome to Be The Brand TV, Ms. Thank Decora. You. Thank you, thank you, glad um, to be here. So I wanna jump right in because I've got my, let me see, one, two, three, four, five things. How many do you have? Let's. Have, Let's dive right in. I have five tips and yes. and um a bonus. two must have products. Oh, okay. So we want to share with you our tips and products. So you go ahead and get started. Takora is um uh, has dabbles in a plant based diet, and so she's going to share with you her top five tips and must have products. So my top five tips before jumping into a plant based diet or going meatless, whatever you want to call it. First, talk to someone. Find someone who has done this before and kind of just get a feel for what they have done or what you should be doing mm -hmm. first. Um, me, myself, I have a friend who um, is a health coach, so I was able to get tips from her. Good deal. So um, find someone you can find easily on social media and just ask them just those questions that you may have before you jump into it. Um, next, don't be intimidated because it can be really scary. It, really can. <laughs> it can be right. really scary. Just be like, okay, I'm gonna give up meat, and you know, whoa, <laughs> yeah, it can be really like just. And don't. then what happens? Like the next day, somebody says, "You want to go to Saltgrass?" you like, day? yes. And so <laughs> you done made it two meals. You know, you done had a banana for breakfast <laughs> and a salad for lunch, and then it's just it over. Comes to yes, and it's over. <laughs> okay, be open minded. Okay, so be open-minded to trying new things because, I mean, there are so many vegetables and beans and fruit out there that you haven't tried. So be open-minded to trying new things and going to new places mm -hmm. um, and uh, new grocery stores that you've never been That's to That's a good before. tip. You don't think about that. You don't think about that. So go to Sprouts, go to Trader Joe's, go to Whole Foods. Yeah. You know, go to these grocery stores that you've never been to before. You know, some, like even Asian grocery stores or yes. different culture go, grocery stores. They have Indian and the Asian Yeah, they have different stores. fruits and vegetables that you wouldn't even yes. get. That you don't go even get know your about. dragon fruit yeah. from the Asian yeah. grocery store. You might enjoy it. You never know. Um, find a support system, even Good. if it's strangers. Okay, well, I'll get down with that because I got yes. wait till you get to mine. But yes, <laughs> yes. It, um, social media um is a great place to find support. Support, yes. So when I did it, um, we talked about it on the podcast. I had a support system of about forty-one people um in our group meet when I decided to do meetless March. So find you a support system. Let people know that hey, I'm getting ready to. Go meet list. Put those hashtags on that picture, and people are going to they come. They will. They will. They will. People will come. So just you know, find your support. Um, my last one is to eat the stuff you like, because you're gonna forget that. Wait, I I like greens. I like corn. I, I like mashed potatoes. So no duh, eat the right. stuff that it's you already right. like. That's not meat. And so <laughs> st start there. Like think about all the stuff that you already like that doesn't have meat in it or that's a plant. So let's start, <laughs> just start with the basics. Start at the beginning, yes. people. Let's at start the with your one. What do you already like <laughs> that's not meat? That's so, not meat. And let's just start there. Okay, so my two products or tools that you definitely need um, or not definitely. Well, first is that you definitely need is a blender because the easiest thing to do when you're going plant based or meatless uh, is a blender or you know the little personal blender. Yeah. I have a ninja, so it came with all the different sizes, right? Right. Cups. 
Um, and because you're gonna want a smoothie, or it's easy for you to get a smoothie, especially if you work right. a regular old nine protein to five. shake, protein things shakes like that. Yeah, that's like, smart. so just get the frozen fruits, um, some yogurt, and then you just put that in the blender, or you can pre-package your uh, smoothie. Well, they have pre-packaged smoothies already. Yeah, so you can so do that. Or you can be more there. cost effective and do them yourself. Yes. Ziploc bags. That's what I do. Smart. More cost effective. Yeah. Cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> um, put that in the blender in the morning and then just be out the door because it, it's just the easiest thing to do. And you can get them now for as cheap as like $15 at Walmart. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're really cheap. Um, another thing is a juicer. Now, a juicer can be a little expensive. Okay, this is <laughs> optional. <laughs> this is optional. Um, and it's if you decide to juice. I do still juice here in the year. Um, I do celery juice in the morning. Oh, God. Celery juice is a wonderful blood it's cleanser. It's nasty. A, it's a blood cleanser. It's still nasty. It's a blood cleanser. Oh. Ignore her face. <laughs> so... <laughs> Even when I would like not be able to do like the full cleanses, I still would do the um, celery juice in the morning just because you know it cleanses your blood. Your blood. Okay, so blood cleanser. Okay, you know if you want to do um, a juice cleanse, it's a lot cheaper to do it yourself, but it's a very very time consuming, you know, two to three hours of just juicing. Juicing. I've done and it. You'll have, I've done juice. Like you, you juice, have like, about juice four. one apple and you get a teaspoon. <laughs> you have about four you jars like, of juice uh, after three hours. Exactly. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> so those are her five tips and two tips. um optional. Well the blender is not blender, optional. You, really you should need. you should have everybody should have a blender. Go get you a blender. I mean like blender. it's nineteen ninety nine at Walmart. Um, so that is for if someone wants to do a plant-based diet. Now, if you are someone who is trying to get started on keto, that's what I'm doing. Um, I've got a few tips for you too. Now, I travel. Those of you who pay attention to what I'm doing, I'm in New York a lot of the year, um, and I'm trying to grow that. So hello, San Antonio and Austin and Houston and Indiana. I'll be coming to a conference room near you. Um, but... Uh, for traveling, one of the things that I really like to do is, um, first of all, I do intermittent fasting. And yes. so because I do that, coffee is something that I kind of rely on a little bit. But every time, like if I go to New York, I stay with a relative, they don't drink coffee. So I have found this amazing keto coffee that has the fat in it. You know, have you ever heard of the bullet coffee? Well, this instant coffee has the fat in it and all of that so it made it very easy for me to just boil some hot water and it was really good y'all i mean it was good and i will link that below i'll find it and i'll link it for you below um the other thing i did was i add vital protein which is a collagen protein have you ever heard of vital protein well i get it from whole foods and what i like about it is it comes in these little packs individual packs and so when i travel i don't have to take the big mm -hmm. container i can just take a few packs. the packs however many packs i'm gonna have for that day and then um i put that in my coffee and that is the protein that will sub that kind of goes along with the uh bullet coffee oh, so i've got the fats then i add the protein so i'm full until lunchtime well not full <laughs> but i'm not hung um so the next thing i'll say is uh social media that like like takora said getting on social media and um hashtagging keto diet keto recipes and then just putting those hashtags on your pictures like she said will bring a huge influx of people to support you. I mean, I can't tell you how many times, you know, I'm getting thumbs up, love your page, keep going, you know, mm -hmm. um, love this recipe, you. you know, whatever that might be. So definitely find a support system and social media can be one if you don't have one in your immediate circle of influence. Um, and then the last thing I'll say is one of my tips is when you travel, if you're going somewhere consistently, like I live in, I'm from North Carolina, I travel to New York a lot, and I live in the DFW area. So find those restaurants that have your food. If you know you can't have anything but plant-based, then find a restaurant that is plant-based, you know the food is good, you know that you travel to that spot often, so you have in mind before you go, just like when you pack your clothes, you have to pack your like thoughts for what you're going to eat when you're on a restricted diet. 
because you can't just like get off the plane, be hungry, and think you can run through a McDonald's. That's not going to work. So you have to be mindful of um, of, of what you need and plan accordingly. So that would be like another tip that I didn't share. But definitely find your food and know where it is and whatever city you're going to so that when you step foot on new land, you don't have to be hungry and you don't have to think about food. You know what works for you. You know what restaurants will work for you. So those are our tips, guys. If you are on a plant-based diet or if you're looking at keto or if you're trying something totally different, I think all of these tips will help you. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, and definitely hit that subscribe button if you have not done that already um, because you don't want to miss what's coming next here on Be The Brand TV. Remember, you are in the place to live your value, love yourself enough to be yourself so that you can lead with intention and purpose. And that's what this video is all about, living your value and loving yourself enough to be yourself. Do that with your health as well, guys. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget to grab the little present I'm gonna leave down below and other links to the keto coffee. We'll link some blender options yeah. and some juicers that are affordable. So we'll definitely get that down there for you so you don't have to search too hard. But until next time, thanks for joining me. Okay, guys, if you like what you heard, be sure to subscribe, share with your friends, and grab the information that I'm sharing with you below because my job here on Be The Brand is to help you live your value, love yourself enough to be yourself, and lead with intention and purpose. Until next time.